So this is not just about the destination. This is also about the journey. Whether that journey is with yourself personally, or whether it's with your loved ones, or whether it's with your friend or spouse or whomever, it doesn't matter because doing this is awesome. Hey, I'm Randy and you're watching The Cheap Audio Man. Here at The Cheap Audio Man, we help other folks find high value home theater, hi-fi, and headphone equipment. And today, this is a special one, we're talking about the Akitika, or as they like to call it, Akatika, which we'll get to that later. It's a preamp. It is the PR-102 hot coffee. Hot. So grab a cup of coffee, maybe out of your Roswell, New Mexico mug. Sit down and let's talk about the Akatika PR-102 preamp kit, or you can just buy it assembled. Today's sponsor is Sith Audio Holiday Helpers. That's right, we all know how joyful the holiday season can be and how fun it is when you have your family and in-laws over and you buy the food, help prepare the food, clean up the house, and then they sit down and make passive aggressive statements about your ability to do landscaping and potty train your toddlers. That's why Sith Audio came out with Holiday Helpers. It's a straight up equine tranquilizer, private labeled. Sith Audio, Holiday Helpers. The Akatika, that's how they say it, Akatika. Even though there's no A right there, it's an I. I say Akitika, I guess you can say Akitika, but I just call it Akitika. But he started the company so he can call it whatever he wants, so it's Akatika PR 102 it's a preamp it's a kit but you can also get it assembled so really one should just look at this as a preamp because even having it assembled it is a very fair price the price on this kit is $480 with the remote $680 to have it assembled okay so it's only $200 and trust me I assembled this thing so I know how long it took me and two hundred dollars if you're not so inclined and you don't want to have the fun and it is fun so don't get me wrong if you don't want to take on this project two hundred dollars and that is a fair fair price because it probably takes six to eight hours to put this together if you are skilled if you don't want the remote control you save eighty dollars so it's either going to be four hundred dollars or six hundred dollars plus shipping okay okay on the front this thing first and foremost i'll show you some pictures of the parts all the parts are what one would think of a discrete mostly discrete preamp from 15 20 years ago really how they used to be made we're talking separate caps separate diodes resistors relays toroidal transformer old school stuff good stuff op amps the op amps are socketed which just means on the circuit board or pcb there's basically a re receiver and then the op amps just push in and pull out so you, the op amps aren't actually soldered into the board the receiver soldered into the board which means if one is so inclined they can get a little bit of a screwdriver and pull off the other op amps put the op amps in that they want and have some fun with it op amps really aren't that expensive anyway maybe four or five bucks but the op amps that are in here are awesome. So let's go. What is on the front? You have basically a selector knob. One, two, three, four, five. What is it? Six LEDs. Trust me, you want to get those LEDs straight on the board because when you put them in here, if they're not straight, then it takes longer to put them in there. All six of these light up for me, which I was very excited about. I got this thing put together the first time on the first try, but it's because Dan actually has really good, Dan is the proprietor of Akatika, uh, puts together a very good manual. Very good manual. This reminds me of the manuals I used to have in the Navy when I was working on nuclear power plants. And obviously they don't want you to make a mistake on a nuclear power plant because that might not be good. This is the style of procedures that we had. Now, I, I don't know if Dan includes this in all of his builds, but he sent this one to me because I complained about the uh, manual from the power amp. 
wasn't that the manual from the power amp was bad it's just that there was two versions and anyway it wasn't as clear as i'd like it to be but there's only one version of the preamp so guess what there's only one manual so guess what it's easier to follow and dan does a very good job of laying it out exactly how one needs to do it okay so next to that this actually has the ability to output to two amps and they are selectable amp a amp b and then you have the tape stuff right here is a little window for your remote control again very cool it's very cool to build this because i started to understand oh this is how some of my other stuff's put together pretty cool f1 and f2 are basically modules open modules maybe for a phono preamp or something in the future if dan adds it plenty of real estate left in here one can add different modules maybe it'll be a dac module he already makes a phono pre maybe it's going to be a dac i don't know anyway you've got expansion capabilities and then uh, tc is tone controls so you can actually bypass the tone controls or turn them on and then a mono button um, and then a hush this is the only thing i got wrong the hush led doesn't actually light up i think i got it in there backwards i don't think i'm going to pull it out and try to fix it maybe i don't know then a balance knob very nice pot very good pulls right off these knobs are black and silver and this kind of has the vibe of maybe like an 80s macintosh with not as being as fancy kind of like a working man's macintosh preamp from the 80s kind of you probably disagree with me and that's okay a lot of people do now we have tone controls bass treble and then the volume on the front over here you have a front three and a, or three and a half millimeter jack think uh, phone or something else like that although if you're hooking a phone up to this i'd use a dac and then a headphone thing right here and guess what there's nothing hooked up to the headphone thing right now that would also lead me to believe maybe dan's coming up with a headphone amp that can be internal to this he may already have one i don't think he does though on the back there's a regular iec power receptacle and then two switches or two power adapter things where you plug other things into there we go uh, unswitched and a switch so what i did is i just plugged the power amplifier into the switched left the power amplifier on all the time and as soon as i turned on the preamp preamp power amp turned on too pretty cool all right so you have amp a amp b and then these are tapes this is for tuner but again you can use these for whatever you want a uh, tape one tape two and cd and then obviously here's the expansion slot for your phono preamp because it comes with the phono ground so how does it sound i tested this with well the akitika power amp i don't know what the model number is but they have two of them i have the four ohm version i must say that that combination was staggering not necessarily from a sonic standpoint because i've heard stuff that's really good now i can't say i've heard stuff that's better because this was a very neutral presentation but had body and soul and i am going to get esoteric on this one because it is subtle but present the music is organic it's wonderful the standout quality of this amp and mind you i had this hooked up to a 250 dollars pair of speakers the polk es 15s don't get me wrong they're good speakers but they weren't they weren't as good as what I was getting out of them. What I was getting out of them was instrument separation, placing objects in a three-dimensional space, soundstage, and pinpoint imaging. It was really fantastic. And as I put better speakers on there, I continued to have a remarkable experience. I was so surprised that after I hooked it up and got it going, and I got it going the first time, first time every time i got it going the first time i took a swing at it so i was very happy that same night when i was testing it i emailed dan over at akatika and i said what am i hearing because i am hearing incredible soundstage incredible imaging incredible three-dimensionality i was like is that the op amps is that the power supply and he emailed me back and he's like well it's kind of all of it it's the power supply uh, he said something about sealed relays. I guess that has something to do with it. 
And then he kind of went, and it's, you know, the amp design. So he's a really humble guy, but obviously he knows what he's doing. I couldn't recommend this more. I couldn't. I just can't. I can't. Highest recommendation, even if you're having it assembled, it's $680 for a preamp that has two amp outs. It also has some expansion capabilities. Is it going to be the coolest looking thing on the planet that you like? I don't know. I like it. Personally, I think I'm going to have a uh, wood kind of case designed. So it's going to be old school. Black, but yet wood on the side. But even cooler than that is if you have some kids, and my daughter actually helped me. She helped me open the, the enclosure with the screwdriver, but she really got a kick out of it. If you have kids and you're so inclined, or if you've got grandkids and you've got time over the holidays, I really think you should take a look at this. Not just because it's going to be a fan fantastic preamp and it's going to sound great you know depending upon what amp you have hooked up to it let's just take that as a audio component it's going to be fantastic now layer into there about eight to twelve hours of sitting down with your kids or sitting down with your grandkids going back and forth teaching them this having them teach you something laughing having a great time this is worth the price of admission just to have those memories. But bonus, you get a free preamp out of it. So this is not just about the destination. This is also about the journey. Whether that journey is with yourself personally, or whether it's with your loved ones, or whether it's with your friend or spouse or whomever, it doesn't matter because doing this is awesome. Skills involved, if you're not comfortable with soldering, you need to get a good soldering station or a decent one. You can get them for 60, 70 bucks on Amazon. I use a kind of a generic one, but it's a very good one, variable temperature. You need to spend some time soldering up one of Dan's practice boards. So he has a board, put a bunch of resistors in there. Spend some time doing that. Make sure that one is comfortable with doing soldering before they jump into the pool with this thing. I wouldn't recommend that, literally. Don't jump in the pool with this thing, unless it's unplugged you're probably not going to use it again so i couldn't recommend the preamp enough it sounds awesome and really at this point this and the freya are really it for me as far as preamps go this doesn't have any balanced output or inputs the freya does so i'm not looking for a preamp anymore highly recommended akatika preamp also look at their power amp all in, you can get the pre and the power amp for just north of a thousand dollars. And let me tell you, it's one of the best combinations that I've heard, if not the best combination I've heard. If you want to support the channel, you can sign up for Patreon, patreon.com slash cheap audio man. Every Sunday night, we have Patreon only Zooms. We also have a Patreon only Facebook group. You can also sign up for Amazon Music or use any of the affiliate links in the description. This is not an affiliate link. I paid full price for this because I wanted it, and I'm glad I did because. It sounds awesome. So obviously, Akatika didn't ask me to say anything. And he actually has his own YouTube channel. So he goes through some builds and things like that. So check it out because it's really cool. So don't binge watch anything. Binge listen over the holidays and every day. Through your, maybe your new Akatika products and fill your soul with happiness. And with that, I'm Randy. I'm the Cheap Audio Man.